Welcome to another unit of the ISM exercise set in Business Mathematics. This time with a unit on Extrema. Let's take a look at the exercise. Here we have calculate all Extrema of the following function f of x and y, this being the function. Okay, then let's start with this. We copy this function and then the first step we need to do is get our partial derivatives for x and for y. If we calculate the derivatives for x, only those parts where we actually have x's are relevant. So here the only parts relevant are the 3x squared plus x times y. So here the first part, that's 3, uh, 3x and the 2 gets in front of this, so 6x, then plus in the second part, that's only y. So the derivative for x, it's 6x plus y. Then for the derivative with regards to y, we only need to consider these parts where there's a y. So we have 1 half y squared plus x times y minus 5y. So here, the first part, that's only y. The second part, that's x. And the last part, that's minus 5. So summarized looks like this. Well, that's for, uh, regarding the rules I used here. That's basic rule for um, deriving polynomials. And the same thing we're doing here when we now, in advance, trying to get our second partial derivatives or the so-called Hesse matrix. Again, we first consider for the first column the derivatives with regards to x. So first part it's 6, and then it's 1. Of course, in the first part only the 6x matter, and the second part only the x matters. So it's 6 and 1. And with the derivatives in regards to y, we have 1 and 1. Because in each of them we only have 1y. So the matrix with the second partial derivatives looks as follows. 6, 1, 1, 1. This we are later going to use to actually determine which type of extrema we found here. However, to find any extrema at all, we need to take our first derivatives and set them equal to zero. Then the first part here, our first derivative with regards to x, reads as 6x plus y. And this can be reformulated as y equals minus 6x. This then can be inserted into the second one. The second one, which we can also here reformulate as y being equal to 5 minus x. So here, if we set them equal or insert the first into the second, we get the following part, minus 6x equal to 5 minus x. Then we just bring the x from the right to the left side, giving us here plus x on both sides. And as a result, minus 5x equal to 5. We divide this by minus 5, giving us as a result for x minus 1. This minus 1 we can then insert in either the first or the second. The first one here being a bit easier, second one not so much more. So here we insert this in the second one. We get y is equal to 5 minus minus 1, so y being equal to 6. So we see here we have one potential extrema being at x equal to minus 1 and y being 6. Then we only need to determine which type of extremum we have here. Is this maximum, minimum or a saddle point? For this we insert this possible extremum in the Hesse matrix. Well, the Hesse matrix we already concluded was 6, 1, 1, 1. So it doesn't matter what we insert here. It always has the same um, well, values. And thereby we can also see the upper left part. So the derivative twice for x is positive. And also the determinant of this matrix here, 6 times 1 minus 1 times 1 
is positive as well. So if both of these parts are positive, this is an indicator that our extremum is a minimum. So we found out we have a minimum at minus 1 and 6. And this then already concludes this exercise. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And if you're looking for more of these types of exercises, feel free to visit the rest of this exercise set or the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.